I look crazy. Hold on. Hi, you guys. Welcome back. I feel like I have not vlogged in such a long time. To be so honest, you guys, I have been so incredibly busy with BNC that I just haven't thought to even pick up my camera at all. Like, I have no footage. I haven't tried to vlog. Nothing. I feel like I just need to do like a whole update, like a whole life update. I need to untangle my hair is what I need to do. Um, I'm about to make myself some oatmeal because I am hungry, like super duper hungry. These are the oats that I'm using, by the way, if anyone cares. These are the oven toasted, old fashioned, organic oats from Trader Joe's. And then I just use um, oat milk. This is the oat milk that I'm currently using. It's from Planet Oat. And it's the extra creamy original, so there's no flavor to it. And I like to put a little bit of salt in my oatmeal. I just do like cracks and salt. Anyways, let me catch you guys up real quick while that is going. So basically, this is this is what happened. This is how like everything kind of just went like crazy. So Brendalyn and I, I talked. If you follow me on Instagram, this is gonna be super repetitive. Um, but Brendalyn and I have stopped doing like a ton of launches and we've just created on designing or we've just focused on like designing products. Um, if you are kind of like confused on what it is that like when you have an online store or a boutique, I will say, um, you basically work with wholesalers. It's what like Shop Lola, Lola Chutique, um, I'm trying to think of other like brands that do this. If you follow Valerie Star, she has a brand called Shop Starlo. They do it. Um, all these places just shop wholesale. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just when you have a boutique, that's what you do. That's how you get your merchandise. You have to have a wholesale license, an EIN number. There's a lot of like legal things that have to go on before you're even allowed to go on these websites. Like they'll ask you for all this documentation for you to be able to go on. And then you can exclusively shop merchandise for your website or for your boutique, whatever. Like that. So that's what me and Brendalyn did basically all of last year and it worked amazing. Everyone loved it. Um, we did great. We've been a, we were able to quit our jobs and work on the business full time. But this year we wanted to change it and we wanted to do um, strictly our designs. Um, we still do bring a couple of pieces, a very, very small amount. Like, and if you're someone that shops BNC, you know, like we barely launch new stuff anymore because we're really trying to focus on these pieces because with these pieces that we're designing we have control over the sizes we have control over how much of it we bring we have control over what manufacturers we work with to actually put our pieces together and it's very very hard to find an extensive size range when you're shopping wholesale usually wholesalers will do like sizes small through large and that's it and they don't let you restock like let's say we sell out of all size smalls you can't just get more size smalls. You have to get all the sizes again. So if you have a hundred larges left in stock, but you're sold out of smalls, you have to buy smalls, mediums, and larges just to be able to restock your size small. Just an example. So with us, because we are now designing our own pieces, we're allowed to say, hey, you know what? We need 500 size smalls and only 200 mediums and maybe 300 extra larges, How, whatever. So we were able to get extra small all the way to 2XL for our bungee camis. There were a lot of people that were super excited about them. We did a really small amount of extra large and 2XL because to be completely raw and real, we don't have the market for plus size. Like we don't, people don't buy it. Like we tried to bring it, we've dabbled into it and we end up having this these extra large and 2XL and 3XL pieces for so long that we end up having to put them on sale to get rid of them. And even then, there's still some pieces that just don't sell. And I think it's just because people don't know that we have them. We promote it, we talk about the size range, we say what sizes are available, but people just don't buy them. What does that turn into? It turns into us wasting money trying to provide products for a market that we don't have. I know this is getting super businessy, but this is just how it is like on the back end. And I show a lot of like real, shit basically when it comes to business we had a customer i don't know if she has in she has instagram i don't know if she has youtube we had this customer never met her before i don't know who she is she purchased a 2xl in our cami and she messaged me and she was like oh my god i'm so excited that you guys have plus size now like i've been waiting and i've been wanting to support but you guys just didn't have my size i was like cool i'm so glad blah blah, blah. i hope you love it it was a very short conversation 
I think like the next day she went on her Instagram and she's not like an influencer or anything. I think she had like 900 followers. Like she doesn't, she doesn't influence. That's not what she's doing. Um, but she goes on her Instagram and talks about when she received her cami, when she tried it on, what she felt. And when I say, and if you follow me on Instagram again, you've already heard all of this. So I don't want to bore you and go like super deep into it. But I cried I couldn't stop crying the entire day because the the last words that she said in her little like review on her Instagram was I can finally be cute like everyone else and it's gonna make me cry now the fact that this one girl who bought this 2xl cami tried it on and felt that good in her cami that she said she can be cute like everyone else because she always like they, a whole bunch of people that wear plus have told us like there's never any options everything's always big and bulky and boxy nothing is ever cute and like sexy and stuff like that and the second she posted that i reposted her on my instagram because she tagged me we completely sold out of our entire inventory of the camis because of her one review her one review mind you i think we had over 200 camis over 200 of them in sizes extra small all the way to 2xl before that we hadn't sold any 2xls none not one she posted that and we completely sold out and me and brennan were like oh my god a couple days later um a instagram friend of my crystal she is a huge she is an influencer she's a huge i think she has like over 300,000 followers and her instagram is all about like sharing confidence how to build your confidence as a plus size woman how to be curvy and still like wear all these things she's awesome i'll leave her instagram below i'm sure a lot of you guys already follow her but i've known her well virtually for such before she even started doing this we've always had like a really cool friendship online and i had posted the cami on myself like i posted it and she was like oh my god i love that and i was like oh my god like it hit me i'm like she has such a huge community of following that's all plus size and i'm like a lot of women don't know that we have plus size so i was like oh my god i'm gonna send you one of our tanks let me know what you think because you are a part of that community you and she's all she's told us before like i'd love to work with you guys but my community is all plus and i'm not going to share a maybe a top or a dress that i don't think my community can wear like i'm not gonna do it which i totally respect and she was like whenever you guys have like an extended size range i'd love to work with you guys she wrote me and was like oh my god i love the cami so I was like, I'm gonna send you one. So as soon as they came in, I packed up a size medium for her. The camis, like if you're in between sizes, you can size down in them. So I asked her, I was like, what size do you want? And she was like, if it's super stretchy, send me a size medium. And I'm like, cool. I sent her the medium. This she, We didn't pay her. She was just like, I love it. I want one. Cool. We sent her the medium. This is what she does for a living. So I was not telling her like, okay, if we send it to you, can you post? Like I know the way influencer marketing works. And I wasn't going to force her or tell her to do X, Y, and Z if we weren't even under like contract or anything. And I sent it to her and I was like, if she likes it, she'll talk about it. If she doesn't, I want her feedback to tell us like, hey, I don't think, you know, whatever. Amanda posted on Friday, the customer who shared her 2XL, posted on Friday. On Monday, Crystal posted. We had over 200 people on our website at a time selling us out we had to literally call our manufacturer and be like hey we need to put a rush order in we had to order i think over 700 camis because of crystal and amanda both of them we were literally like we could not believe it because again we've tried to kind of share that we carry extra larges to xls and we just people don't buy it i don't know if it's that they don't see what it looks like on someone's body. I'm not sure what it is, but it wasn't until Amanda and Crystal. Oh shit, my It wasn't until Amanda and Crystal shared that. Oh crap. That's why you have for talking so much. We're like, oh my god, like all these women followed us. The amount of followers that we received was insane. Everything was just insane. So you can imagine. A small business like us, we're a small business. We run out of a garage. We only have a team of four. Like, we're a really, really small team. And we're over here 
ordering for our camis quantities of over 500. Like that is mind blowing. So Brendan and I have been going kind of crazy just trying to make sure that things are in stock, trying to make sure that um, the pre-orders are up, trying to make sure that we're in contact with our manufacturer, like, hey, what's, when are they getting here? Like, they're all, our manufacturer is a made-to-order manufacturer because they're a, um, like, an environmentally friendly manufacturer. So they only do, um, like, custom batches to avoid waste and to avoid making inventory that isn't, like, stuff that's basically not gonna sell. Hearing all the customer feedback, it's just been insane. And I'm so happy that we finally now have a market for plus size because that means that we can now provide more pieces. Before we were spending money on plus size pieces and no one was buying them. Now that people are buying them, it's like insane. Even plus size influencers have been reaching out to us like, oh my God, I love that Cami. I'd love to work with you guys. It's just been a very crazy and overwhelming and emotional two weeks to say the least. Um, and now we're trying to gear up and get the next product going and make our cami in other colors and get a dress designed. And it's been awesome. It's just been so overwhelming that I haven't really had the time to sit down and record. The only videos that I've done were the one, what was it? The trends that I don't like and then the one with my sister. Um, so today I figured I would fill you guys in, do like a little catch up. Um, I do have a few things to show you guys. As you guys know, I'm on a no buy. So I told you there's not really gonna be like hauls going up or anything like that. Tyler and I are going out to dinner tonight. Just tons to update you on. So I'm going to eat my oatmeal. And I'll catch up with you guys once I put my hair in my twist, get dressed, and all that stuff. All right, guys. I'm dressed. I'm not dressed up, but I'm dressed. Um, I put my hair in my little flat twist because it has been raining every single freaking day in Florida because that is how summers are in Florida. One thing I want to talk about is this candle right here. This is the Casa Luna candle. Like the Casa Luna brand is super well known for um, the bed sheets, which actually have them and they're freaking amazing. This is the Harmony candle and this smells exactly like Suntal 33. It smells so freaking good. Um, I bought that a couple days ago. I was telling Tyler, I was like, oh my God, because I'm on a no buy. I was like, oh my God, like I'm itching. I just want to buy something. And I was like, you know what? If I find a candle, I'll buy a candle. So I bought that and I actually just got these in the mail. Um, I am, since I'm no longer like on like diets or anything like that, I am getting rid of everything that does not fit me from, I'm not even kidding, when I was 21 years old. I am now 31 and need to accept the fact that my body is not the same as it used to be. It's just not and there's nothing wrong with that. So I need to get rid of a lot of my jeans. I'll probably put some on like Poshmark and stuff like that, but I bought another pair of the Abercrombie jeans. These are the 90s straight ultra high rise from the Curve Love line. I got these in a size 28, um, which is like a, like a size six, which is that's my regular size. Um, this is what they look like. I love the wash of them like for the summertime and they're straight leg I haven't tried them on yet, but they look like they're gonna be awesome So those just got here today and then What else did I order? I didn't really order much. Oh, I got I actually did a face mask this morning. My face feels so nice like glowy just like really really nice. I used This mask right here. Let me turn this around so you guys can see it is from the brand Skinnergy, it is a small, ooh, there we go. It's a small business, uh, Latina owned. She's actually Dominican from New York. And this is the Dual Refiner Mask and Scrub. So this is it right here. I used it, I put it on my skin, um, let it sit, I think it was for like 15 minutes and then I washed it off or well, well, well rinsed it off. And what I noticed the most is a lot of times when I wash face masks or treatments or anything off of my face. I have dry skin, so my face feels really tight afterwards. My face did not feel tight at all, and the beads, like the exfoliating beads, are so tiny. I've been using the Ula Henriksen one for years, and if you've been following me for a long time, you know that's like my go-to um, like exfoliator. But I wanted to try something different, and I use 
the cleanser from Skinergy Beauty and I also had the moisturizer. I completely ran out. Um, so I'm trying to run through like all the moisturizers that I have before I repurchase anything because I have so much skincare. A quick shout out to another small brand. This is actually the customer that bought the 2XL tank from BNC. This is her brand and I had no idea she had one and I think the name is so unique. It's called Arius & Co. And she's an Aries and her wife is a Taurus so she basically combined why is this not focusing there we go she basically combined both of their signs and came up with Arius and Co um, I purchased what did I buy I bought a pair of earrings and a necklace but she sent over this ring for me as like a thank you I don't know why this is not focusing anyways she sent me this ring it's not focusing but this ring right here and she accidentally sent me another one so I'm either going to gift it or do a giveaway or something like that and then she also sent me this necklace here which is like the body of a woman um, which I actually have already right here from another like jewelry company so I'm either going to Again, gift this or do a giveaway or something like that. And then today, yesterday I received another package from her. And I did not ask for any of this. She's just She sent them just as like a thank you. Um, but she sent these earrings right here, these little ones. I really like the size of these. You can see here. And then she sent over her Onyx pendant necklace, which is so pretty for layering. I might wear this one tonight. Um, so yeah, I'll leave there, like her Instagram uh, down below and her business she is the sweetest kindest most genuine person ever i haven't like i said i've been on a no buy it sucks i hate it um but i want my house and i'm trying to have my italy wedding so i need to just not spend any money which sucks guys another thing that i bought and i love is this like countertop spray i was pretty much out of my um, Mrs. Myers like countertop sprays and I'm constantly wiping down the countertops, the stove area, our table. So I went on Amazon and I just typed surface cleaners and this was the number one one. Like this was the first one that popped up. So I bought two of them and they smell. I got the scent uh, Rose Water Driftwood, number 21. They had a whole bunch of different scents so I wanna try them all. It smells like a mixture of like cologne and soap. Oh, it smells so good. I got two of them right here. So I am really, really excited about them. I want to try, like I said, other scents. I'm doing a couple things at the same time. Um, I have to give Leonard a bath because we let him run around in the backyard. Right, Lenny? No, you don't have to get up. He's getting so big. Right, Lenny? Lenny, Lenny, so big, fast, he is crazy, he's a crazy puppy, but we love him so much, like so, so, so much, he is so much work, but we have gotten now to the point that like, it's routine and he's just part of our family, we love him. Look at the cats, Indy, Oliver, so yeah, nothing's really exciting is happening right now so i'm not gonna bore you but yeah just wanted to share that other item that i bought that i think is great so it has officially started downpouring here in florida well in orlando this is how it is every single afternoon in the summertime it's terrible like do you see how dark it is it's like Two o'clock? Two o'clock. Okay. Okay. And I, I am making myself lunch. I am boiling some potatoes, some red skin potatoes, because I want to make like a little serving of mash. And then I have this chicken that I'm going to heat up once I'm ready. Okay, bro. Ready to eat. I got a, like an order in from Amazon. It's nothing that exciting, but I'm going to share anyway. Um, so I got these. I saw Beauty by Rosita. I know a lot of you guys probably follow her too on like YouTube and Instagram. She posted that these are the closest that she's seen for a Beauty Blender dupe and that they're really soft. So I was like, word, let me try them. It was super cheap for a six pack. I don't remember exact. I think it was 9 dollars 
I'll leave them down below in case you guys need sponges. I need new sponges desperately, so I was like, let me just buy some. And then I re-upped on my pumice stones. I always keep these in my um, bathroom, like in the shower. And you literally just like scrub your feet to like keep your heels and everything soft. And I want to give myself like a little at-home petty situation. I have like one of those um, jet bath foot spa things. Tyler got it for me like a couple years ago um, just because I wanted one. And then I have one of those foot masks that like peels your entire foot off. So I was like, ooh, I'll literally shower, scrub my feet, soak them, and then put them in a little thingy-majiggy, in a little foot mask. Uh, just because it's about to be summer. I'm going to be at the pool a lot. So I just want to, you know, give myself a little, a little love. Did you break him? You broke him? You broke Sam? Wow, well, Lenny, you weren't supposed to break him. I literally got this for him the second we, we found out we were going to pick him up. You can't break him. He's your friend. Okay, he doesn't care. I knew he was going to destroy it at some point. I'm surprised it lasted this long. Um, but anyways, yeah. I am going to eat my food. I'm super, super hungry, so I'm ready to eat. And I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. <sighs> Alright guys, so it's been a couple of hours. It's still super dark. As you can tell, I've just been doing um, laundry. As you can see, there's still some laundry on my bed that I'm putting away. But I am about to kind of do my hair. And Leonard is my tail. He literally follows me everywhere. He is so clingy with me. But I really want to... Whoa. I really want to try these. Well, this got really big. And it is so soft. Like, let me show you the original one. Wow, I'm really excited to try this. If this ends up being great, I'm gonna be super excited. So, take my glasses off real quick. I'm gonna be doing the same thing that I always do, but I figured I haven't filmed in so long. I haven't worn makeup in so long. I don't really wear like a full face anymore, as you guys know. And it's also um, so hot in Florida that doing like a full face of makeup all the time is just, it's pointless. It's kind of like doing your hair like in the summertime. It's just pointless to do your hair or do your makeup here because it's so hot. You're going to sweat it off. It's so humid and it's always raining. So I'm just putting this on, which is the No Pore Blend Primer um, from Touch and Soul. I'm almost out. I love this primer. I use this primer mainly in the summertime because it helps just keep my skin a little bit more matte because it's so humid outside. I have dry skin, but the humidity is just so intense that you get dewy even if you're dry. I'm using my uh, Pat McGrath foundation, or yeah, foundation. I'm almost out of this too. Um, wow, I cannot believe how soft this is. Shocked, at, this feels like a pillow bouncing at my face. This is actually way softer than the Beauty Blender. Way softer. Lenny? Let me see him. He's just sitting there while I do my makeup. Yeah, I definitely need to get another one of these. I still kind of want to try something new for the summertime. Um, I want to try the ColourPop. I forgot what it's called. One of the tinted moisturizers. Um, just because in the summer I usually only use tinted moisturizer. Taking some Laura Mercier translucent. I have not used another translucent powder in such a long time. I used to like the Peach Perfect one a lot, but I put that in my kit. At this point, I can take everything out of my kit because I'm not really doing makeup anymore. I have, I think, one more wedding in September, and then I'm officially done with freelancing. This is my Leonard um, Sephora collection powder, as usual. And this brush is the Airbrush Pro. I don't even know what number it is. It's from Sephora collection, but the number rubbed off. So I don't know what it is. But it's an airbrush foundation brush. Next up, I'm going in with the Ultimate Face Trio with me and Dame Boss. 
this is the darkest one because I am at my darkest for now. I'm starting to lighten up from like my latest tan, but in the summer I get tan. Like if my tan fades, I'm tan again in a couple days just because we're always like outside, at the pool, beach. Like I'm going to a pool party on Saturday. So I already know I'll be refreshed. And I'm using that brush, by the way, was a Morphe M406. And then this one is a Morphe E4. I'm using the blush. I love this blush a lot. It's like a really deep berry color, but it gives my skin like a really nice, like I was in the sun type of look. Highlight. I'm using the highlight that's in here. It's like this really pretty bronze. Um, with the Morphe M310 little fan brush and I just put it like kind of all over this is the Anastasia um, definer in soft brown I'm out of my medium brown and I had a soft brown sitting there so I was like let me just finish this um, before I open my new medium brown i don't know if you guys have noticed but i've literally like i'm not trying to buy new makeup at all for anything like i don't need it so i don't care to spend money on it which is so funny because when i was working at sephora oh my god my paycheck would go right back <laughs> to sephora they're not dumb they knew what they were doing Using some brow gel because my brows be going all over the place because my hairs are really long. And then I always curl my lashes. I don't even know what kind of lash curler this is because I've had it for so many years. Um, I don't really see the difference in lash curlers. I'm sure there is a difference, but I don't see it. So I just keep using this one that I have. It's so old. And since I only really wear mascara now, I try to really like get the most out of them. Um, so as far as mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. This one is new to me. Well, new-ish. I've been using it now for a little bit because I finished my Voluminous, L'Oreal Voluminous, whatever it's called. Um, so far, I really like this one. Nothing compares to the Mr. Big, in my opinion. This one is really good. I don't know if you guys can tell because it's so freaking bright in here. Maybe when I get out of this harsh light, you'll be able to see. I'm going to undo my twists. My hair is pretty much dry. Look at how they look before you like really put your hands to them. This is literally my favorite thing to do for the winter or for the summertime because you literally don't have to do your hair. Usually in the front, I always get like a weird little thing like that. So I just use my wand to fix it. But it's literally just doing those front pieces. Like, look at how pretty. There's no product in my hair at all. I didn't put, like, a curling thing. I didn't put mousse. I didn't put gel. No hairspray. No nothing. Um, it just comes like this every... It comes out like this every time. Sometimes it does come out better than others. But, like, this literally looks like I used that tool. The mermaid hair tool. And it's literally just twists. I'll leave the video of how I do it down below. Um, it's very, very, very simple. Like this side came out perfect, so I don't need to touch this side at all. And then my hair is a little bit damp. It's probably like 5% right now. But because it's so humid outside, there's just no point in doing my hair. Wow, it came out really, really good today. So now I'm gonna go to Oh, oh, it's this fluffy toy. So, you can kind of see here. Put my phone down. There we go. Like, my hair is so shiny because I'm not using any heat or anything. Wow, it looks, it came out really good today. I don't even know what brand this is. I got this on Amazon like a million years ago. Um, and I literally just use it for like this piece right here that's like not really curling I'll just run it through the end because the rest is good and then I use this spray from R&Co just for the scent um, it's 
smells really good. And I use this uh, Diva Curl High Shine oil. I spray it in my hand just because I know my hair is going to get so ugh because of the humidity. And it rained today. It rains literally every day. Yeah, this side looks so good. So, yeah, that's good. So I'm literally just going to take this right here. And I literally will just do the end because I don't want it to look like an actual curl. I just don't want the end to be like weird and wonky. Yeah, that's it. Let's see if there's any other little pieces. I don't really think so, honestly. Yeah, this came out really, really good today. See, and this is a 15 minute thing. If you do the flat twist in your hair, Boom. I did my makeup. My hair is done. I just gotta pick out my outfit, but I have a couple of out like like an hour and a half, so I don't feel like I need to do it right away. Not sure what I'm gonna wear. I'm definitely gonna wear my new jeans. Um oh my goodness. Are you kidding, bro? And look at Oliver, like an angel. Leonard! Yeah. I think it's done. I think you killed him. Oh, God. Well, now I gotta clean this up, so bye.